A star just exploded and became a supernova in the pinwheel galaxy, and you might be able to see it from your own backyard. I'm Michael Martin, and welcome to Late Night Astronomy, your guide to the best objects, events, and equipment to help you explore the night sky. Roughly 20 million years ago, a star went supernova in M101, the pinwheel galaxy. Over roughly the past 20 million years, that light has been traveling through the vacuum of space until it just arrived here at Earth a few weeks ago. To see this event, you're going to need dark skies and more than likely a 4 to 6 inch telescope because this is an 11th magnitude star that's appeared within this galaxy, making it quite dim and well beyond what you could see with the naked eye. This supernova has been dubbed SN2023 IXF, and to see it, you're going to want to go outside about an hour and a half after sunset and face towards the north. Look up until you come across Ursa Major, the Big Dipper. After finding Mizar, star hop over to M101 using your finder scope or a low-powered eyepiece. M101 is easily washed out by light pollution, so try to get to a darker sky and make sure the moon isn't out to help you see this galaxy as well. Once you've found M101, move up to medium and high magnification eyepieces to help to cut through some of the light pollution. This supernova is going to look like an out-of-place dim star that does not show up on your apps or star charts. It's located in the outer part of one of the spiral arms, right near the even less bright NGC 5461, which is at magnitude 14, for those of you with larger telescopes or those of you doing astrophotography. This is a challenging target, but one that is worth the effort if your scope and sky conditions will allow it. I've only viewed one new supernova through my telescope years ago and hope to add this to my list in the coming weeks before it starts to dim. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing to this channel to join our growing community. And if you're able to get out to see or image this incredible event, please be sure to let us know in the comments section below or tag any pictures that you take of it for me to see over on Instagram at Late Night Astronomy. Thank you all so much for your continued support, and clear skies from Late Night Astronomy.